This is question 19. Here I'm asked to prove algebraically that the sum of the squares of two consecutive integers is always an odd number. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deal with this idea of two consecutive integers and I'm going to show this algebraically. So my first integer, my first whole number, I'm just going to describe as being n. The a consecutive integer is simply the number that comes after it. So if the first integer is n, the number that comes after it, I can describe as being n plus 1. Now what I'm being asked to do with these two consecutive integers, n and n plus 1, is I'm being asked to square them, and so square the two consecutive integers and add them together. So let's do that. I'm going to take n and I'm going to square it, and I'm going to take n plus 1 and I'm going to square that as well. So I've got n squared plus, because I'm being asked to sum the square of these two consecutive integers, n squared plus n plus 1 all squared. So let's expand this uh, and tidy it up a little bit. So this is going to give me n squared plus, now n plus 1 all squared, this is exactly the same as double brackets. So n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 1. So working this out, expanding that double bracket, that's going to give me n squared plus 2n plus 1. And not forgetting the n squared that we had at the beginning. So I've now got, I've just expanded and simplified here. I've got n squared plus n squared plus 2n plus 1. Let's tidy this up a little bit further and, and collect these n squareds together. So I can now say that this is the same as 2n squared plus 2n plus 1. Now, if I go back to this question, I'm asked to show that it's always an odd number. Now, what I'm going to do to show that this is an odd number is I'm going to take this factor of 2 out of this first part of the expression. So I'm going to say that this is 2 multiplied by n squared plus n and then that plus 1 on the end. Now because we're dealing with integers, we said that at the beginning, this is my first integer, this is my second integer, what I can then say is that what I've got this expression at the end is essentially 2 multiplied by a quantity plus 1. Now if I'm taking a quantity that's a whole number and multiplying it by 2, that means that that quantity has to be even. Because any quantity that's an integer, so any quantity that's a whole number, multiplied by 2, has to be an even number. Because all of the numbers in the 2 times table are even. And then to this, I'm then adding 1. So I'm doing, I've taken an even number, 2 multiplied by n squared plus n, and then to it, I'm adding an odd number. And what I can say is that when I've got an even plus an odd, that that always gives me an odd. So what I can say just at the end is therefore, um, therefore, uh, the sum of the the sum of the squares of two consecutive integers is always an odd number. Therefore, um, it must be odd. And we have shown that algebraically by taking two algebraic terms for two consecutive integers, squaring them and adding them together, simplifying it, and then just taking that factor of 2 out of the 2n squared plus 2n.